Good morning, I'm Alistair Gibson, and representing the President and Council of the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh at this second International Congress on Golf and Health. We're at the second Golf and Health Congress. I was so lucky to be at the first one four years ago. We're looking to see how the evidence and the science for playing golf, injuries related to golf, professional golf, and of course amateur golfers like myself, how it's moved forward in those last four years. And today's a really great event to bring together people from all over the world to share their knowledge and pull this information so we can decide what's the most important thing to do next when it comes to this work. I've been attending this event to talk about how we are globally trying to promote physical activity, increase participation for the health benefits and for the many social and enjoyment that sport and particularly golf can bring and to learn from the research that's being shared. The meeting today is to not just to declare that golf is good but to create some responsibilities for golfers themselves to maximise the benefits and reduce the risk but perhaps more importantly for developing countries where golf isn't as popular to actually influence policy makers. They're not interested in people telling them things unless it's backed up by a scientific rigour. I think this is an incredible conference and it's an incredible list of international speakers that have been put together on this programme, one that you wouldn't necessarily get at any other conference. So I think it's invaluable for, um, for disseminating new knowledge and also across different topics. I think the challenge is to make golf inclusive. Uh, I think it's got a history and perhaps a perception amongst many to be uh, less inclusive, uh, whether that's for people of different economic advantage or gender uh, or age. People won't come unless there's probably good opportunities created and uh, welcoming clubs and uh, ways in which they can start for the first time or return to it. It has been a fantastic opportunity to bring together to Edinburgh uh, delegates from all over the world and I hope everybody will take something away in terms of what they can do to promote golf in the individual countries.